Hi guys, I'm Master Kanan. This is my first video and I'm just 15. I hope you like it. First video is learning Photoshop for beginners with Master Kanan. What can you cover up after watching this video? Now the thing is, the first thing you learn is what is Photoshop? The second, the purpose of learning it. Third, what can you do from the software? Fourth, working with text. Fifth, how to work with shapes. And the last is working with images. So let's begin. What is Photoshop? Photoshop is a raster graphics editor developed and published by Adobe Systems for Mac OS and Windows. It is the predominant photo editing and manipulation software on the market. Its uses range from full feature editing of large batches of photos to creating intricate digital paintings and drawings that mimic those by those done by hand. Wow. The latest version of Photoshop is Adobe Photoshop CC launched on 18 June 2013. So now the question which arises is that what is the use of the software? The software can be used for editing photos, digital painting, graphic design, web design. So this is how Adobe Photoshop CS6 looks like. If you want to download Adobe Photoshop CC, you can download for the download it from the official site of Adobe. And if you want to download CS6, it's I have given the link in the description. Please follow the link. Now, the fourth one is working with text. So from to do that, we have to open a new document by clicking on the file tab and clicking on the new option or by clicking on you can also press the short key control and N so we'll give it uh, the name shark tech sorry shark tech 9 beginners default for and what is the benefit of Adobe Photoshop is if you want to create your own template you can create it like you have you can save the preset so I'll choose the default Photoshop size and just see the, the width is 16.02 and height is 11.99 and the resolution is 28.346 color mode is RGB so I'll click on OK <coughs> so we'll just play with text and how to add blending options to it this is the move tool move tool this is the marquee tool which like means helps to select and to deselect you can just press ctrl d so to write a text click on the this button which is looks like d sorry it is d and just drag it and write sample text <laughs> select the move tool and bring it in the center now if you want to change the color you can just click on this color picker I'll go for the blue and to add blending options like outer glow out of shadow, bend, uh, bevel and emboss. So, right click on it on the layer. So, if you don't know about the concept of layers, I'll explain you. This is the background which is white in color, and you can hide it by clicking on the eye, which is this. And this is the delete button. This is a to create a new layer, and this is a create a new group this is create new fill or adjustment layer and this is layer mask <coughs> so we have a background and a sample text 
So click in on this layer and go to blending options. And what benefit of Photoshop is by working on layers, we can just edit one of the object in the project but not disturbing others. So if you want to edit and give it a bevel and boss, click on it. There are five types of bevel and sorry two types of bevel and three types of emboss outer bevel inner bevel emboss pillow emboss and stroke emboss i'll go for the outer bevel and i'll select stroke and i'll go for green and increase the size and go to drop shadow Increase the distance and the amount to spread and the size. <coughs> so you can see what we have to made the text look like. It's really great. And now this is the thickness level. And if you want to go for the advanced level, you can just you can just convert it into 3D, which look amazing. Like by clicking on this 3D option. It takes a time because it's heavy. So this is what it does. You can see the text from different angles. <laughs> you can just light from where the just with the shadow and all that stuff. And just you can Filters 
are usually the fake uh, like blur uh, noise render pixelate so I'll go for the blur option and add a pen to it decrease the amount to be blurred your image and it looks a little bit of blur edit the name just you can double click on it dancing <coughs> hide it and hide it now what you are gonna do is add some basic neon lines how to do that is select the pen tool which is of a really great use add anchor points these are called anchor points and make it in a curly manner that's it select the brush tool and select the color which you want I'll select this type of can color with this uh, number and add to swatch and okay okay I'll select this now go in the brush option and select the size to be around 5 and has hardness should be 0 <laughs> you can make it Now what you're gonna do is right click on the anchor points by first click on the pen tool and then right click on it and stroke path. Okay, and see what it has done. <coughs> so now right click on the layer, go to the blending options. You can add these effects. What, what what can you do is go to the inner glow and select the opacity and that's what we need is size and the la quality so select this lower left noise Add bevel and boss to it. Out the bevel. Oh, I think that's not good. Yes, that's good. This is a good stuff. Not drop shadow. No, it's not good. Okay. <laughs> now, by clicking on the move tool and just. pen tool right click on it and select delete path now click on the move tool move it a little bit left and select the erase tool zoom in by pressing shift alt Start erasing the area you want to. I'll decrease the size of the brush. One from the front, one from the back. That's the rule.
safe. Write text to it. Shock tech nine. <coughs> Increase the size font. Font size. Change the color. practice a lot I'm just I'm just bigger so please like my video it, it will really help me so if you like it please subscribe and like the video don't forget to share thank you that's all and I'm Vasugan from Shark Tale.